I just got word from the shelter that they have a beautiful female 10 month old Newfoundland mix that was turned into the shelter by her previous family. And apparently she was adopted by another family a short time later, which in turn, they only had her for less than a week and they turned her back into the shelter. So now she's back in the shelter for a second time and her time is running out fast. So I'm gonna get down there and see what I can do. Hi, there you are, there you are. Look at you. I cannot believe you're a puppy. Here, let me in there. Let's get acquainted. Let me in there. Despite her size, 10-month-old Magnolia finds her way onto Brandon's lap. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You sure you're not a bear? I can already tell you're sweet. And you seem calm, too. It's a good combination. I'll tell you what, you say you and I go for a little drive. Come on. Back at the ranch. All right, slow it down. Slow it down. Come here. Is this going to fit? Magnolia officially becomes a lucky dog in training. All right, come on. Let's go meet the pack. This way. It's not a bear, guys. It's a dog. Don't worry. All right, go on. Go play, make friends. Welcome to the Lucky Dog Ranch. Well, it doesn't take long for Magnolia to get acquainted with the other dogs. She's eager to jump in and play. She's also just as happy receiving bear hugs. Her gentle nature could make her the perfect companion for Jan Rapley, a first grade teacher in Santa Clarita, California. Jan currently lives with her five-year-old black lab, Elliot. He lives for his tennis ball, so we go out and play ball. We do long walks. She loves to bring Elliot to school with her. He's a real rock star when he goes on campus and everyone just flocks around him and hugs on him. She also has a 23-year-old desert tortoise named Saguaro. She just toodles around the backyard and eats plants and she'll come in and hibernate under my bed during the winter months. Jan's looking for another dog to help keep Elliot company. He's used to being social all day, but there are days he can't come to school, so I wanted to have a dog for him. Come on, come on, Before come on. Brandon can determine if Magnolia is the right match for Jan, he'll need to do an assessment. Today I'll be doing Magnolia's assessment of her knowledge of the seven common commands, which are sit, stay, down, come, off, heel, and no. I ask her to sit for me and right away she gives me a sit. Do you lie down? From there I ask her to lie down and lo and behold she gives me a perfect lie down. Who would give you up? Huh? Do you know a no, 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 leave it? And from there I asked her to stay and she had not a clue what I was talking about. And then I called her to come to me. You come? Come here, come here. All the way, all the way, all the way. Good, good, good. She did not have an off. Hey, off there. No. You don't know it. All right, come on. How do you walk on leash? Show me how you walk. Do you heal? You are strong, I'll tell you that much. Magnolia is gonna get a lot bigger than she already is. By the time she's two years old, she's probably gonna weigh another 20 to 30 pounds and she will understand how to use her power and her leverage. And if she's not properly trained by then, it could spell disaster for whoever is holding that leash. Come here. Come on. Very good boy. Excellent work. Hup, hup. Very good boy. 